nyimbo zetu za ukovu namba yake ya 115 
to hear songs from the singers. It's required to partie in Mumbili. It's required for two songs. Na new melody and a photo for one song. You're welcome.
leo tutakwenda kuongeza nyimbo nyingine kutoka kwa Hope Karibiwa tupatie ngoma.
Mungu awabariki. May God bless all our singers. Amen. Eh? Amen. Je furahi po? Je joy? Je meburika? Are you blessed? Oh, we should call them once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio tutakwenda kukaribisha mkutano. We went to welcome the entire congregation. Karibisha kanisa lote. We welcome the entire church. Mama, wababa, vijana. All the mothers and all the youth members. Watoto ubarikiwe kuwa katika presence. All the children stay blessed in the presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunakwenda kukaribisha baba mchungaji pamoja na familia nzima. We went to welcome our senior pastor with his entire family. Tuseme karibu kwake na Mungu amba Welcome to you and we God bless you. Hallelujah. We have the servant of God. We welcome you all together with your wife and Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndiyo tutakwenda ku karibisha wageni ikiwa kama tumejaliwa kuwa na wageni we to welcome all our guests that have visited us for the first time tutakwenda kuwakaribisha we going to welcome you all katika mkutano huu leo in our congregation kwa kama kuna wageni and if there is no one anaweza kusimama ili tuweze kumkaribisha you or she can stand up so that you can welcome him Ndiyo, ninaona ya kwamba hatuna wageni wengine I see that we don't have any other further visitors Hatuna mkaribisha mama yeti kwa sababu ye mtoto hapa So we will not welcome our mother who she said Kwa hiyo, ni mkaji wa hapa Hatuna mkuni ya mkaribisha kila wakati Haleluya, asijisikia kwa mba yiku mgeni Amen, eh? Amen Ndiyo, ndugu utenelea kusimama Kwa hiyo, ni mkaribisha So that you can welcome This is my young brother. Kijana wangu. This is my young. This is my son. This is my young son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ingereza ruge ina kalea. Ndiyo ni kijana wangu. This is my son. Katika njia mwajo wale nyingine. One way to the other. Wameni achia mikono yangu. He is a partner or he is an. Kwa hiyo nikasema. So I decided. Kwa umuda uko hapa. At this time it is here. Ni mizuri uone maali tunakusanyika. It is a very very encouraging to come in motion. Ndiyo kwa maana iko hapa. That is why he is here. Anatokea kuzimbabwe. He is from all the way of Zimbabwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Na ni muimbaji pia vili vili. He is a very great singer as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo tutakwenda kumkaribisha. We are going to welcome him. Anaitwa kwa majina ni Ebalo Ebalo Chris. His name is Ebalo. Ebalo Chris Josephe. Ebalo Chris Josephe. Ndio. Kwa hiyo tutakwenda kumkaribisha. So we are going to welcome him. Moja, mbili, tatu. One, two, three. Welcome to Allah and may God bless you to all of you. Aleluya. Wanao kwa karibu, wanao kwa kusia na kwa 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 It is a good time to listen to our testimonies. If you have a testimony to share, since from the beginning of the week until today, I give you two minutes to come and testify. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For a few minutes, come and testify for the wonders of the Lord for you. I'm standing here to testify. It was on Saturday at 12 p.m. And my friend promised. I heard something was sounding as if it was an animal or human. I found he's the one that is sounding. When I spoke to him, he was not speaking. He's just telling me, my hand, my hand. And then I requested 
and then we went straight to Kidia Brown Hospital. So I think I looked because when I went to check out on him, he was okay when the temperature was down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is somebody else, Karibu. you are welcome. If there's no one to raise our hand. For all those that belong to one to And another We need to live our hard desires. We Welcome, praise choir. Praise choir. We welcome praise choir. Kama amkotayari, hope choir na banda. Hope choir, we welcome you. Natupatia wingu moja, tuna tosha sadaka zetu za shukrani. Our thanksgiving offerings. Wakimaliza new melody. And then new melody. Natupatia wingu moja, tuna tosha sadaka. We will give our offering. Na wana tuingiza katika sifa na mabudu And give us to the present worship session Na mutoshia mungu chakumi na sadaka pia We need to give our offering in our sides Karibu na mungu wa bariki Welcome and God bless you Welcome
Karibu baba mchungaji kwa kukamilisha maombi haya. Ombi ya toleo na kumweka mlinaji katika mikono ya Mungu. And I thank the Lord for his protection upon his church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kanisa, ni kanisa, kisi livyo, ni kanisa labwana. The church, however it is, it is a church of God. Na ni nashukuru mungu kwa kisi tunekusanyika watu wapata ya. And I thank the Lord for us gathering at this number of people. Na jua tuko katika siku za tareza mwisho ya mwezi. I know we are at the period of my end and many people are busy. Mara nyingi makanisa ikifika matare kama haya. Many times in churches when it comes to due type of dates. Ule mwenye kujaliwa na nehema ya mungu, ndiyo anaacha kazi, anakuya kumumba ya mungu. But the ones that are graced by God, we are the ones that come to the presence of God. Lakini unakuta wengi nao wanaenda kutafutia tumbo. And others they go on their own physical needs. Nina mshukuru baraza yote kwa jumla. And I thank the Lord for the entire leadership committee. Kwa hali yote tunaendelea kuishi nao. For the unity we continue to serve together. Hali ya kazi ya Mungu, hali ya huduma. Due to the ministrations and all the ministries. Na mshukuru mchungaji wetu, Pastor Choma Choma. I thank our senior pastor. 
tulianza na kazi hii tangu mudemi la tua we started this ministry since 2003 kama sijasahau najua ni demi litwa if i haven't forget it is 2003 amen 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 sio leo tuko na hii kanisa letu it is not today we started with this church japokuwa nilienda pale mozambique lakini najua kwamba ninapokuwa hapa South Africa ninajisikia kama niko nyumbani napokuwa kanisani hapa even though i moved to mozambique but when i'm here i feel at home na mchungaji hakuwahi kuniacha kamwe aliendelea kuwa na mimi bega kwa bega haleluya has never turned his back on me but he continue being with me step by step kwa sababu kundi kwangu Mozambique sikurudi kwa matengano na yeye wala kwa kitu niseme nimerudi kwa kupenda kwangu na ndio kwa maana ninapofika hapa mara kwa mara ana support kwa pamoja na yeye katika kazi yangu haleluya because when I went back it is was not a regarding of war a hatred or it was because of the love of God and the love of myself that's why I'm a son in this house mchungaji bwana bariki baraza Mungu awabariki. The leadership committee may God bless you. Leo tutazungumza habari za Yesu. Today we are going to discuss the news of Jesus Christ. Kama nisi nazungumza habari kwa mara juu ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Yes, the way I always preach and speak about our Lord Jesus Christ. Tutazungumza juu ya habari za Yesu patano ambao waleta upatanisho juu ya wanadamu we will speak regarding the unity of Christ in the world. Jesus came to bring unity. He came to unite you and I. Jesus did not come because of separations. Na sita likuja tuniendi watu wa mariendele na kutengana tu. And if he was not going to come to earth, people will continue to be misled. Watu wa mariendele na chuki tu. People will continue with hatred. Lakini kuja kwa ke kulileta wa mani na furaha. But his coming brought peace and happiness. Na ikiwa leo kuhapa ni kwa sabu Yesu alikuogua na miya kanyokoa. And if you are here, it's because he saved you and I. Ya, tutasoma neno na mungu. We're going to read our Bibles. Tasuma neno katika ya kitabu kia Yohana. The book of John. Tasuma Yohana sura ine. John 4. Tufungule Biblia zetu. Let us open our Bibles. John 4. Tasuma Yohana sura ine na mustari wake wa makumi mbili na tatu. John 4, 23. Tutaishia ku makumi mbili na sita. Yohana ine John 4 Makumi mbili na tatu 23 Tutaishia kwa makumi mbili na sita 26 Kichwa kareno kinasema kwamba Our title of the word Yesu na yule wanamuke Samaria Jesus and the Samaritan Yesu na wanamuke Samaria, iyo diyo kichwa cha neno hili. The title of our message is Jesus in the Samaritan Woman. Na mtu mwenye anaona sehemu hiyo, anatusome ya kari mwadimu mwadimu. Na soba, kitabu cha Yohana, hini makumi mbili na tatu. Hmm. Na soba, kasta chayasu. Ndiyo. Na hili saa inakuja. Hmm. Ambayo sasa ipo. Ipo. Ambayo wabudua halisi. Watamuabudu baba katika roma na kuwele Kwa maana baba Watafuta wapi kama hao Kwa muabudu Mungu ni roma Na kwa muabudu yenye Ni wapasa kumabudu katika roma na kuwele Ndiyo Yule monamke atamuambia Na juu ya kuwa yuwa jamasi Haitua ya kristo Ndiyo Na ya atakapokuja Ya ya atakufunulia Mambo yote Yesu akamwambia akamwambia nini Ni Mimi naesema nawe ndiye amen Amen Mimi naesema nawe ndiye Hakuna mwingine speaking to you I am the I am the Lord 
If you worship the Lord in truth and in spirit, you are acceptable before Christ. In this period of time, it is time to worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. You will not worship the Lord out loud. No. I would please you to serve in truth and in spirit. It's well that you finish reading here. The unuse of Samaritan woman with Jesus Christ. This woman was a Samaritan. And that Jesus was a Jew. As you know the stories of Jews and Samaritans. There used to be so much of hatred. They were not getting together alone. Give 
the water of life. Hallelujah. Yule mwanamke akabujibu. And the woman akasema kwamba. Hiyo maji aliyo hai. That water they are toward Where did you get it from? Maji aliyo hai. The water of life. Where did you get them from? Shida ule mama. The problem was. Alikuwa anazungumza na mtu. She was speaking to the mother. That is unknown. Hakukua anajua kama ni Kristo Yesu. Was not aware that it was. Alifikiri tu ni Mwayahudi kawaida. Jacob, but 
partake of this water. Children, his family partake in this water. All his children partake in this water. All his cattle partake in this water. So why does it mean that you are special? You possess the water of life more than this. And Jesus said unto him, Listen to me carefully. Whatever we drink will not come back to this stream to fetch water. And the woman said, Yes. Give me that water so that I can drink. It. So, that here, so that I should not. And Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are still arguing, you are still hard. But today I've got her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the way she already told me, that, I should give her the water to also drink. My mission is accomplished. And Jesus said, Before I give you my water, Go and bring your husband. Listen, brother. Go bring your husband. Hallelujah. Go and bring your husband to come. And the woman was crying. She said, I got no husband. I got no husband. But 
Amen. Amen. Have I already met up with Christ? To be baptized for so many years. You have never received any day to talk with Jesus. Drink the water of life. Speak with Jesus Christ. And you will receive peace. Without reconciling with Jesus. You will not understand his secrets. His true disciples were together with him. And that is why each and every time he used to speak to them. And he told them his truth. Understand the secret of God because you have never been connected to him. Search for a relationship with Christ. Search for a relationship with Christ. In two ways I will please you. So go into a relationship. If you want to know the secret of if you want Jesus to be revealed to you secrets of other people that are now seek for a relationship with Christ. Firstly, live a life of holiness. Hallelujah. Go to the spirit of holiness. Each and every time ask for forgiveness. If your neighbor wrong you, forgive. Change so you can change others. 
au cha matiriki wewe kwa hasira uko mwingi sana you are there in anger baki kuonya kuna kwa mwenyasi when the world you will be baki kuambia mkristo astahili kuwa hivi hiyo si kwa uta yote na kanisa the world you against any habits you for sasa hiyo hasira itakupeleka wapi that kind of anger hasira ni umoja wa chuki hiyo hiyo anger is a man the people will hate him upatane na ndugu yako find peace with your brother kuna wengi wako na ndia kanisa na wasemisha nani there is many the comes to church they don't speak to each other ninasema bongo am i lying si mjibie ninasema bongo am i lying kuna watu wanaingia kanisa hii moto there is people that worship in one church lakini hawasemesha nake but they does not speak to one another hawaongeane na ndugu yake there is no speak to na ndugu akifika kaliweka ta kumsalimia and even if he arrive next week anaona ata kumkalia na kuwa na kusudi mkono wake usimsogelee move a stray for his hand not to reach him kisha utasema sema uko bibi harusi wa Yesu you say that you are a black group of Jesus Christ ndugu mpendwa my brother akuwa leo decide fanya mapatano na Yesu so make simama mahali ulipo stand up for everyone na kuomba sana tusimame kanisa la Bwana let's stand up church of God tusimame mahali tulipo let's stand up for everyone here ungana neema asubuhi you still have grace ya kupatana na Bwana to find peace with God. What? Utasikia kesho huyu alikufa. Mlikuwa naongea na mtu kesho alikufa. You find people passing away and dying. Ikiwa leo Mungu anakuazima hii pumzi. Today Jesus born to this bread. Anakuazima na hii koti ngwe mafala sahi. And he told you that suits the Jews. Haiko koti ya nguo ni ngozi ya kuoza hii. It's not clothing but it's this flesh. Kumbe ni vizuri uweze kupatana naye ndani mapema. So you need to Inside with him, whereby it's still empty. Siku Yesu na kuita wende katika paradiso. When Jesus will call you in paradise. When you come back to your home, you will come. Kaso, nisambe. Do not take a poor man. We want to pray. Yesu, 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 of different types of people. Lakini mtu kwa nakaribisha kalimu ya mpaka ule ule wa kwenu tu. Kwa sababu tunataka kikamufu kutoka kwa Mungu. 
Amen. 